Okay, guys, I'm going to record chapter seven, exercise three, solid model. So we're gonna start with new uh, chapter seven, exercise three. Okay, enter. So we're going to create a solid models on the top plane, okay? On the top plane. So let's just activate the name tag so you can see the top the front and the right side so we're going to create the first feature which is a base feature on this plane called uh, the top plane so we go extrude placement define top and then right right is selected automatically a sketch a sketch view we're going to remove the datum plane for clarity center line we're going to create a center line in the middle on the y-axis and also on the x-axis all right let's close the model tree so you can see that let's create a rectangle which will be symmetrical with respect to both x and y-axis how do you know it's symmetrical you look at the arrows the green arrows okay so and this number here the dimension is 150 150 enter and this dimension should be uh, 100 okay 100 so enter so we have a rectangular shape and then we're going to extrude that the thickness is going to be uh, 20 okay 20 enter so if you look at that that's our uh, base feature 20 okay if you want to test that this will be the front view and this will be your top view okay the top view okay excellent now we're going to create another feature on the top plane or top you know surface define that surface we're going to click on a sketch sketch view so we're going to create a circle on a at the dead center okay right there at the intersection on x and y axis and that measurement the diameter is 30. okay double click on this number which is a weak dimension and you change that to 30 diameter of 30 for that circle and then we say check and this should extrude about 40 okay and the, uh, the extrusion of dimension is 40. okay then we are happy with that we say okay next we're going to create another feature on top of this cylinder here and that will be sketch sketch view let me just turn the shade off and go to no hidden there you know what i'm talking about here so you create a circle uh, with a diameter of 80 that circle has a diameter of 80 and enter uh, let's extrude that we go check and that extrusion should be about 20 okay just enter 20 uh, units okay so there we go next we're gonna create a uh, one circle or one hole on this top plane okay let's just render it a little bit so you can see the color a little bit better maybe okay we're gonna have the this was okay red and maybe this one is and that is yellow color okay all right so we're going to create a hole on uh, this surface here extrude placement define click on that surface s sketch uh, sketch view okay and this one is a little bit sensitive because we wanted to make a circle uh, reference center line okay we have a circle a reference and uh, we're going to right click and con convert this to construction see it does it we call it a reference circle center line okay and that is critical for to ensure that the hole that we're going to drill on this surface will be exactly at the intersection of this y-axis and this reference circle center so and the diameter of that is 
60. Okay, we're going to say 60. All right, beautiful. Now we're going to create a circle at the intersection. See that? As soon as I move this cursor close to this x-axis or y-axis and this cir this reference circle is going to is snap to that intersection. So um, now we're going to give the diameter for that, which is a 10. Okay, we're going to have a diameter of 10. Okay, diameter of 10. Sometimes it's just the mouse is not easy to work with when you're dealing with laptop. Okay, so we have a diameter of 10. We're done with that part, and now we're going to change this to shade. And we're going to go back and look at the surface. We know exactly where this hole is located, okay, with a diameter of 10. And then we're going to just have, we're going to drill that hole through this surface, okay, that surface there, that this thickness here. So we're going to reverse this arrow. Uh, uh, something went wrong, okay, let me just say. Uh, let me just Copy geometry. Okay. I believe it was. Um, uh, I'm going to edit the definition and then we go to reverse the arrow. And that should be, you know, we want to cut through there. Okay. So. Let's just delete this. Uh, how that happened? Okay, or maybe edit definition, placement, edit, and we have this is uh, this hole is located on this surface here, and then we say check, and that should be uh, remove material. So we cut the material. All right, we cut the material to intersect that surface okay all right so we have that so next we're going to okay let's just uh, reverse it a little bit again again the mouse is not cooperating so we're going to do that okay so now that we have this uh, one circle created we're going to turn the axis uh, on turn the axis on for the cylinder now we're going to pattern that and there's a total of uh, uh, six, there will be a total of six uh, circles on this circumference here. So we're going to go pattern and then we click on axis and then we click on this axis and then we say six hole uh, with a 60 degrees, uh, 60 degree angles uh, spacing, okay, 60 by 60. 660 is 360 degrees, okay? 660 is 360. You can see that there are six holes with a 60 degree spacing, okay? We're gonna click check. So we got created six holes on this surface, okay? All right, so. All right, just right there. Um, okay. All right, so far so good. And now we're gonna do the uh, next one, which is uh, we're going to create a uh, couple of holes on this corner here. All right, let's see. Okay, we go extrude placement define. When I click on that surface, sketch, sketch view, we're going to go to no hidden. Okay, all right, great. So we're going to create a circle that is 15 by 15. Okay. So we're going to drop a circle here, and we know the diameter is, let me just put the reference, so it will be easier to work with when we have a references, okay? I'm going to put the references on this edge and that edge, and we say solve, now automatically the reference is going to take precedent over the temporary references that was uh, done uh, without even thinking. And now we know that this measurement should be um, and it should be uh, 15. OK, 
Okay, we're going to change that to 15. Enter. And then this measurement here, uh, this is, see that at the reference dimension here. Okay, we say enter 15. And then we change the diameter of the circle to 10. Okay, this circle diameter is 10. All right, so we're done with the first circle and the rest we're gonna pattern it, okay? So one circle here and we say check. Let's go back to shading and then we go, see that we place it on that intersection here, which is a 15 by 15 dimension along the X axis and Y axis. So we go check. All right, so we're gonna reverse the arrow Okay, it's a little bit thinking, okay? The computer is slow. All right, so we say um, this intersects with all surfaces or through hole. Uh, and this we need, I think I need to fix this one because it doesn't go all the way through. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna fix that later on. So if you wanted to pattern, okay, this is checked. I'm going to pattern, and the pattern will be linear pattern, okay? So the distance will be 120. So if I click on this dimension here and type in 120, 120, enter, and then we go, okay, we created that hole, and then we pattern again, and I'm going to give this dimension um, the distance from center to center, I believe is... Uh, 70 okay 70 enter so we're gonna click check so there are these holes are already created now nicely done next i need to get rid of all these holes that i poke through it shouldn't go all the way through this materials it should just go through this top surface here so it's not a big deal we're gonna fix that okay so we go to this extrude number three or uh we're gonna go to this um uh, what do you call that? The one of the uh, holes, and we're going to say this is uh, that, and the amount of how far is going to go down because the thickness is 20, so we're going to go 20, okay? The thickness is 20, so that's what we have. So when we do this, so now that we only have those holes uh, created on this surface not through this materials okay the last things we wanted to do is put it round on each corner okay or fill it around okay everything else is, is good to go so if i just go to round and then click on that oops oops, oops that's not a that's not a good idea all right so we have to be a little bit careful on selecting this edge here okay so we're going to click that edge and the radius is 15, okay? We're gonna type in 15, okay? The rest is easy. So if we do one of one 15, and then we just rotate them, and let's see, look at this edge here, that's 15. Again, rotate this to this corner, and then you just click on that, and that's the 15. You see that it's better to do the fillet and round on the solid model than to do it on the sketch, okay? And then you just say, okay, I have all the four, all four corners, um the uh the fillet radius has been created okay or round we rounded the sharp corners with a radius of 15 okay so that's it and i think we are done i think there is nothing else left on this one and if there is any questions make sure that you follow this video and everything is done correctly and the last thing is to just check okay you say front view that's a front view and then you look at the top view. This is the top view. Perfect. Okay. That's how it should be. Uh, and uh, I'm done. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay. All right.